Hello my beautiful Scorpios and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a general reading. We're going to be seeing what's coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal reading, all the information on how to do so is in the description box below. For my upcoming tarot deck, anything else on my art page or to make a donation, again, down below um please do remember that the energies can go vice versa so just take what resonates switch the roles switch the genders do what you got to do okay please don't come at me in the comments with your foolishness today because i'm just not with it I'm not with the shit today okay um if you're new here welcome how i read is um i channel through the oracle i clarify with the tarot and at the end we get additional messages if there is time okay so my beautiful Scorpios, the overall energy we have is reflect on good deeds and at the bottom of the deck we have invest time in your faith. So for some of you, you might be reflecting on um, the good things that people have done for you or the good things that you've done for people. You might be um, thinking about good things that you need to do, okay? So you might be thinking about making donations, giving clothes away to charity, or just being a helping hand um, for others, okay? I'm feeling a lot of caring and compassionate energy. Maybe you or somebody around you hasn't been as caring and as compassionate as they could have been, and so they're reflecting on, like, you know, how they can be more kind and more caring, okay? Also, with this invest time in your faith, some of you might um, really be investing in yourself, in your spirituality or whatever it is that you um, practice, okay? And just taking that time out to kind of just have some sort of self-belief and to believe in yourself and to take your spiritual practices seriously, okay? We do have reach out and connect underneath um, this as well. So again, some of you could be connecting with your spirit guide. Some of you might want to reach out to somebody or somebody definitely wants to reach out um to you i just heard you're a good person so somebody thinks that you're a very good person or you do about somebody else okay so what's coming towards my beautiful <clears throat> um scorpios excuse my voice i'm recovering from hay fever okay it's horrible what's coming towards my beautiful scorpios well i was thinking libra i wanted to say it Okay, we've got um, keep yourself balanced with um, the justice card that wanted to come out here. So again, some of you could be trying to keep um, yourself balanced. You could be trying to think about um, ways to kind of improve your inner self um, and your inner being. For some of you, you might um, want, um, somebody could owe you an apology. Somebody wants to apologize to you or you could be wanting to apologize to somebody else. Okay, what is coming towards my beautiful Scorpios? Okay, well... So many cards, this is why I can't have I like to shuffle down here, guys. Okay. It's coming towards my beautiful Scorpios. Okay, we've got condition your hair with love. So yeah, some of you could be definitely com um, investing in yourself, you know, showing yourself a lot of love, a lot of compassion. This is similar to Libra, so you might want to watch Libra's reading if you're dealing with one, okay, if you've got that in your chart, okay. Um, but there's a lot of self-love. You see how her afro is in the shape of a love heart? So some of you literally could be needing to kind of condition your hair a little bit more, okay. Or, you know, I mean, I just tried to put some stuff in it because it was looking a bit frizzy in the other video, okay. <laughs> so some of you literally could be... um. Paying like reverence and like worship to your to your body and to your skin, okay? If it's not your body and if it's not your hair and if it's not your skin, it could just be like within people, within your life. You're trying to be more nurturing because you know sometimes Scorpios can come across across come across as a bit kind of a bit cold and a bit edgy. So some of you might be learning on how to kind of be a bit more loving, or this could be somebody around you, okay? This is also, um, this could be um, self-love as well. But I'm definitely sensing an apology here. Like someone wants to apologise for not being very, um, I just heard maternal. This could be your mother or a motherly figure within your life. Nurturing. Someone wants to apologise for not being nurturing or for not nurturing your needs. Okay, wow. Just as I said that, we've got Crimea River and the silver-haired grandmother that wanted to come out. So definitely a mother figure within your life. Someone is really sad or upset here. This could be you. It could be another water sign. I'm hearing Pisces. Okay. We'll just keep those two cards. Um, 
So some of you might want to apologize to someone or your mother or an auntie I'm hearing. Or if you're a man watching this, just flip the roles, okay? Um, also, you could be dealing with the mother or the father of your child. But at the bottom of the deck, we do have detangled the situation. Yeah, and then we've got the family hair thread. Oh, my God. So something is definitely going on with family here, okay? Again, could be the father or the mother of your child. Or somebody just sees you like this. But they're reflecting on... I feel like someone is reflecting on... Um, the good qualities within a person, okay, and they, they could be reflecting on the fact that they didn't invest enough time or they didn't have enough faith in somebody, but this person is definitely at a loss. For some of you, you could have lost um, like a grandmother um, if or a grandfather, if, if so, my condolences, um, but they just want you to know that they're watching over you, so this could be your ancestor as well, watching over you, and you know, they're showering you with love, and this is why they want you to invest in your faith because they want you to connect with them they want you to pray to them they want you to reach out okay so some of you might need to make spiritual altars or sacred spaces what is coming towards my beautiful scorpios please cough out keep yourself balanced money honey Ooh, and the time is now the time is now to focus on your money okay this is also could be a financial reward there could be something to do with the courts or you could be getting back payments for something okay somebody also could be wanting to give you um I was saying before making donations so you might be thinking about a good deed that you might need to do is to kind of give a donation to somebody somebody might owe somebody money or you might want to buy somebody something or pay for something or again you could just be getting some sort of financial justice okay it could be karma repaid in kind i just heard so yeah that's really it's really good you know it's always good to hear about money you know <laughs> so what is coming to oh oh my god well that's that's a lot of cards what is coming towards my beautiful um, <clears throat> Scorpios? Okay, we've got patience and then we've got fear. So there's a bit of intimidation here, a bit of fear going on. Okay, but there's definitely a transformation going on. This is your energy with the butterfly. Okay, something requires a lot of patience. I'm hearing take time with yourself. Okay, also I'm hearing that someone wasn't patient with you. You could have been dealing with a fire sign or you could have that in your chart. But somebody wasn't patient with someone here. Or someone could have lost patience. Um, you could have let something go or let someone go, okay? Um, but you've definitely released yourself from this heavy burden or from negativity that's surrounding you within your life. And you're moving on to calmer waters, okay? Also, again, this represents spirit guides and angels or ancestors or someone that might have passed that's around you and letting you know that you're um that they're okay on the other side, okay? <clears throat> oh, and we got loss here, and then we got positive future. So yeah, like I said, you're moving on to a positive future. Your ancestors are definitely holding your hand. They're definitely by your side, okay? Um, but loss wanted to come out here, so someone has definitely lost out. This could be um. If you haven't gone through like an actual loss in terms of losing someone, this could just be like a friend or like an ex-lover or something. But someone is really sad here. So there's different stories for different people, but someone's definitely lost someone. Okay, but they want you to know, like, you know, you've got a positive future ahead of you. It's really abundant. I also feel like, again, somebody wants to come and knock on your door. They want to have a future with you. They want to say that they're sorry. Somebody could have um, um, downplayed your maturity, okay, with this grandmother card here as well. But someone's definitely, they're feeling a loss here, okay? I just heard forgiveness as well. So someone is lost out. So this could be you. You could be dealing with another water sign. I just heard Capricorn as well, but it doesn't have to be that earth sign. Could be any earth sign. What's coming towards my beautiful Scorpios? We got shadow, heavy Scorpion energy with the wisdom here. So yeah, there's something about intelligence and about knowing here as well. Someone I feel like they're definitely facing their shadow side, okay? Someone could also be watching you from the shadows. Again, but someone is secretly um, plotting on giving you some sort of money or so some, some sort of financial reward or some sort of financial abundance. I'm also hearing inheritance as well. So for some of you, you could have lost someone and you're going to get um, a lot of money from it. So, you know, you might have lost something, but you're going to get a financial gain. And I know it's not... Um, it's, it doesn't replace a person, but do you know what I mean? Okay, there's definitely going to be something to gain from a loss here. But it doesn't have to be a physical loss. It could just be like separating from a person, okay? But I definitely feel like there's an ex that wants to come back, or this could be you, okay? You want to do the right thing, I keep hearing. Someone wants to do the right thing. Please clarify patience. We've got domesticity here, yeah? So this is all about, again, in the same row, synchronicities on fleek. It's all about self-devotion. So you could be loving yourself, loving your home, your family, focusing on yourself, okay? Being patient with yourself. 
um also again i feel like somebody is looking at you as someone who's very motherly and very um nurturing she um definitely could be dealing with a libra because she represents libra we've got the justice scales here um also i feel like you know that empress kind of venusian energy like someone is realizing that um they love you or that they they need you or they need that kind of motherly comfort comforting love okay this could you if you this could also be you just loving upon yourself someone is very choked up here yeah you're reinventing yourself with this reinvention could be dealing with an aquarius because whenever i see this you know she's like the water bearer it reminds me of aquarian energy and then we got follow the light and then we got inner beauty yeah so you know whatever you're focusing on within inside it's shining on the outside someone definitely sees you as very gorgeous and yeah you're focusing on your inner peace that is it and that is all okay but definitely following the light here again i definitely feel like someone could have passed or um if it's not like i said a physical passing someone is really missing someone here i feel like i'm just hearing there is no sunshine when she's gone you know some of you could have left someone to kind of follow your dreams and your aspirations but again with this guardian angel i feel like if some of you are going through like trying times right now the guardian angel is letting you know like she's trying to bring you towards your future okay so she just wants you to, to have faith and to just trust in her and believe, okay? But for others of you with the detangle, the situation and everything and inner beauty, someone is seeing your soul as really beautiful. And um, I feel like someone feels stupid here, man. Someone feels really upset. Like I can feel the energy. It's like a lot of sadness. I just said I can feel the energy is a lot of sadness. Look what the card flew out, guys. The five of cups. Someone is someone lost out. Okay, this also represents inheritance. So definitely could have been a loss within the family. Some, you know, if, if it's not, someone feels very guilty and very regretful. Okay. I also feel like someone is definitely going through their karma right now. Okay. I'm just hearing you need to pay your debt goodness someone could have broke up a family home what's coming towards scorpios yeah I just said broke up a family home with the two of pentacles here someone could have been juggling with you juggling you with two different people definitely i heard earth energy we've got earth here virgo capricorn or taurus okay but some of you could have redrew yourself from a situation and now you're just trying to focus and um, balance family life and home life again with the keep yourself balanced you know, this is you trying to keep yourself balanced. You know, you're not near the drama anymore. You see those watery, the um, the waters, they're all wavy, they're all over the place. This is a lot of drama, a lot of trials and tribulations behind you, but you're kind of not focused on that, okay? I just heard drowning in my own misery. So somebody could be drowning in their own misery because in the middle here, there's someone that's very, um, very Venusian, very um, self-loving, very self-caring, okay? They, they're free to be, you know, free and abundant. And around it is a lot of loss. So there's like a focus. Someone is in the middle here and there's people around there are, that are upset or there's an energy that feels like they're upset because I feel like someone tried to juggle somebody here and now they've lost out on everything. Yes, definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius. But it could be a Libra or a Gemini, heavy air energy here. Someone lost out because this is about self-sabotaging or trying to sabotage some somebody, trying to win at all costs. It's like winning an award but losing the battle. So someone lost out here because they were trying to be vindictive. They were playing, trying to play too much mind games. Oosh, we got the um the three of swords here. So yeah. So the story is different. For some of you, like I said, it's a loss. For others of you, someone lost out on the real one. And now this person is focusing on themselves. And, you know, someone's in deep hurt regret sadness and betrayal while someone else is going off to a beautiful future i feel like someone does not know how to apologize or they just don't know what to do okay because someone was definitely very manipulative here but someone's definitely trying to manifest you back into their life yeah because they see a, a future of you they see that you are stable with this four of pentacles here i feel like somebody can't let you go but they also um they're holding back as well okay <clears throat> so please clarify the five of cups what's coming towards my beautiful scorpios we've got the queen of cups yeah someone's drowning in their feelings right now okay and it's a heavy burden to them but someone definitely loves you 
or you could love someone else. There's heavy water energy here. Scorpio, um, Pisces, Cancer. Could be dealing with the Cancer most definitely. But somebody, you see, this person has lost out on love, on true love. Again, this is the nurturer. She nurt she's very nurturing, she's very loving, she's very caring, she's very compassionate. She's very sweet. So now somebody realises that they're in love. Okay. Please clarify the two of pentacles. I just saw the two of cups. Please clarify the two of pentacles. Yeah, we got the seven of cups. Like I said, somebody was juggling someone here. You know, because they, they you know, this represents illusion. Somebody was very confused and they thought all these options were doing something for them, but they weren't. And I feel like someone released themselves from being an option to focus on themselves. And now whoever's released themselves, they're now being presented by a lot of different options from the universe. Okay, you see how she's sitting there in the grass and she looks quite happy. All these different things are being presented. She's like, mm, which one should I choose? Which way should I go? But I definitely feel like somebody was juggling someone here. Several different options and now they've lost out on everything. Oh, motherfucking well. What can we say? Yeah, now this person is stuck. Please clarify um, the three of swords. And then we've got the six of coins here at the bottom of the deck. We have the page of swords. So yeah, like I said, someone's definitely watching you and they're thinking about how to communicate with you. And then we've got the devil here. Somebody was definitely toxic. Or again, you could have been dealing with the Capricorn. I've been hearing Capricorn. And we've got that energy here. But somebody definitely wants to give and take here. So you see with this reflect on good deeds, somebody wants to do the right thing. Someone wasn't um, being very generous with you at the start. They were being very stingy with their time. Um, or this could have been you. Someone was juggling, just not being very serious. Now they want to invest in you because now they believe in the connection. You know, I'm just hearing like, you know, you don't know what you had in, until it's gone. So now this is what this person is like, that they're, they're, they're upset. Also, someone's definitely taking a financial loss here as well. But somebody now wants an, e an equal give and take. So let's get um let's get an affirmation. Ooh. That was real quick. Let's get an affirmation card. For my beautiful Scorpios. Let's get a card. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to take the first one because there's three here. It says, I have unlimited options. I can choose the path that makes me happiest. I am allowed, I am allowed to live my life. Yeah. So like I said, you've got all the options now. So you've got an unlimited amount of options that you now can pursue after being an option. Okay? Nothing's going to stop you. And I feel like a lot of people are going to want to be very generous and very loving and very compassionate towards you. Okay. It says dream at the bottom of the deck. I open myself up to wonderful and blessed. To, uh, oh God, excuse me. I open myself up to a wonderful and blessed new future. I visualize and I plan ahead. Day by day, my life is becoming exactly as I dream it to be. So you're focused on your dreams. You know. This can also represent dreaming and fantasizing as well. I feel like someone less lost out, man. And it says, we are all connected. Um, there is no real separation in the spiritual world, only divine essence flowing in and out between all that is, including me and you. We are all connected. Oh, so yeah, so if somebody did um, lose somebody, they want you to know that they're, they're still here. There's no separation. Even though they've transcended to the spirit world, they're still with you. For others of you, somebody definitely feels a spiritual connection with you. They feel very connected with you, okay? Um... I just heard ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And at the bottom of the deck, we have I am my own sunshine. So I feel like some of you are just really giving into yourself right now. Or somebody else could be, you know, this could be somebody else around you, okay? But I definitely feel like somebody wants to connect to you. They want to reach out, you know. They want to let you know that they still, they still feel you. And they're very sorry. But, you know, someone is focused on their positive future. Someone is at a huge loss here. A huge loss anyway if you like the reading please do not hesitate to like share and or subscribe um, and comment okay no negative comments guys honestly I don't know where these trolls are coming from but they're coming <laughs> okay um, for anything else all the information is in the description box below take care my beautiful Scorpio toodles <laughs>